Yeah, so let's get into it here. Uh, BTC and ETH. So the whole market, obviously, with that pump on Monday with the fake coin telegraph tweet. And uh, yeah, they punched up to 30K, Bitcoin, basically. There was a, a, a godlike green wick uh, that just went straight up uh, and then right back down shortly after the uh, news ended up being <laughs> false. I think there was, what, a good 20 or 30 minute period where that tweet was out there with unsubstantiated sources or anything like that. Uh, before it came crashing back down. Um, so, yeah, what do you make? Um, I'm not really concerned with like, I guess we can talk about the price movement and what it may mean and what it might look like when the ETF actually gets approved, not something we're necessarily rooting for. I'd, appro- I'd actually rather there not be ETFs, but nature of the beast, that's just where we are now. Um, what do you think, Ewok? Like, first off, uh, uh, other than it just being comical, or maybe very sinister. I don't know what was going on with the Coin Telegraph people, but what do you make of that story? And then what do you make of the price action? And and do you think maybe that maybe not as quick time frame, but something like that could even happen when the actual ETF is approved? What do you think will happen then? But first off, yeah, let's go back to the weird Coin Telegraph thing. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, was it? You know, the big question is: was it sinister or not? Uh, was there? some source that they rely on that heard something and and got the facts wrong whatever i mean it's hard to say but it it clearly shows what can happen in a matter of minutes uh when something like that is announced so yeah it was a bullish very bullish sign uh and and it only lasted for you're right it was about a half hour i think uh and and then it pulled all the way back down so yeah, what happens in the first couple hours of of that news being actually announced? Uh, I think it's very bullish for for Bitcoin and for the rest of crypto as well. Um, you lost your camera again, by the way. But you know, <laughs> it's pretty exciting. I, I just think it's exciting that you know we see this kind of movement and uh, the whole market just sets ablaze. You know, it will trigger down to other things obviously the rest of the the crypto market you know as we always say the the uh, the rising tide will lift all the boats and you know especially with ethereum being tied so heavily to bitcoin price you know with the liquidity pairs um you know it, it it's a very bullish bullish sign for the entire market so where we got you it keeps dropping off so but anyway, um, yeah, so again, I, I think it's bullish. Um, we'll have to see how this all plays out when the news actually does, but it, it could really lead into a good pump before the happening. You know, we know once the happening happens um, that there will be a, probably a, another sell-off a, at that point as well. So, yeah. 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 Get your affairs in order there? I, I hope so. I don't know what the hell is going on tonight. But uh, yes, um, I think I heard most of what you said anyway. So yeah, yeah I, I don't know what exactly was going on with the, the Coin Telegraph thing. I mean, I, you know, you'd like to think that it wasn't something sinister, but I think we're all just kind of uh, already programmed that things like that do happen and suspect the worst. Um, maybe it was just an overeager person. I don't know what it was. But what I was going to say, Ewok, and apologies if you were kind of getting into this, but I do wonder when this thing actually does get approved, if we don't see something similar. Like, I don't think we're going to necessarily just blast through 30K and it's off to the, like, you saw Twitter the other day. Everybody was like, oh yeah, bull market's on. And, you know, and it was cool. I mean, it was nice to get something other than, you know, absolutely terrible news for once. Right. Um, Especially in the midst of everything going on right now. But I I don't know that it's just going to be this like crazy blast through. I mean, maybe slowly and gradually kind of like we've been seeing, maybe we get up to like a 35 K, you know, towards the end of the year or something, but I don't think it's going to be anything crazy. I think we, we, we did at least see that people are really eager for this. People are going to FOMO into the market stupidly when this happens. I sent you, I'm not going to say who it was, but a big accounts tweet the other day that was like, damn it, I FOMO'd in and look what happened to me. And I'm thinking like, why the hell are you not already all in at this point? (laughs) It's, you know, Um, but yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I think like everybody's looking for it. So many people are looking for it to be like such a crazily bullish event. This year, I think it's already in the cards that we're we're not going to go 
anywhere crazy. I mean, it would be, I, I would be happy to see 35 K by the end of the year for Bitcoin. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't think the ETF approval is going to send the market to the crazy points that some people do. Do you, do you agree with that or where are you at on that? Well, I mean, clearly look what happened in a matter of a half hour. Um, mm. I don't, again, I don't know how far that would have, how, how far that would have run had the, the news been accurate. Uh, but it was a good start. I mean, you know, it went from basically 27 up to 30 within 20 minutes. So, right. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I think it's bullish. I think we could get uh, above 30 and hold there. Um, how far above that it goes, you know, I could see 32 to 35 in the cards by the end of the year. I think we've been calling that you know, along the way, but it would be a, a slow, steady rise. You would have a, a lot of, um, you know, businesses getting involved as well once that ETF goes. So, you know, right. and, and don't forget the premium to the, the grayscale is getting closer as well. So you're no yes. longer buying it on a discount, major discount like you were before, which means people are actually going to be buying the spot instead once that once that closes even further.